Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff and Michael from Achievement Hunter, and there's nothing to be scared I'm of. Scared. This is just a this is, oh, Michael. Really? Have you ever done one of these before? I did. I thought it was a doctor's appointment. Oh, okay. Well, this is... Prototype 2. Sure. Yeah, it is. Right? <laughs> right? We're going to Disneyland after this? Right. Damn yes. it. Yeah, prototype 2. Prototype 2. And we're going to look at this game. Because it's fun. It has nothing to... It's prototype, not proctology. Cur what? Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you fast last night? You're not <laughs> Remember when I told you not to eat anything after midnight? <laughs> uh, I may have broken that rule. Anyway, Prototype 2, it's a very fantastic game. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's very similar to the first one. What? Nothing. You're doing what? great. What? No, keep it up. I like it. I'm having fun. I'm moving on from the proctology. Okay, I don't sure. know how you planned on segueing out of that, uh, but I sure I pulled was... that one out of my ass. Hey oh! I, yeah. was, I was trying to segue into it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. uh, all right. It's very similar to the first one. If yes, you it played is. the first one, uh, I did. In a good way. Um, if you like the first one, it's like an open world. Um, I don't know. It's kind of similar, like, to me looking to Grand Theft Auto as, as far as, like, the characters yeah. and the NPCs and stuff like, like that. It's like GTA with tendrils. Yes, and right? Crackdown. And a little crackdown. Bit. I'd say a little Crackdown. A little Crackdown. As far as building climbing, though. It's, Throwing cars and shit. Yeah. Um,. You start off as uh, James Heller, who is not the main character of the first one, was Alex Mercer. Right. And uh, basically, the infection breaks out again two years later after the first one, and his wife and daughter get killed in the infection. So he's like, Ooh. Alex Mercer, you son of a bitch, I'm going to get you. So he plans on going there to get him, ends up confronting Alex Mercer. He ends up infecting him, basically, and turning him into like what happened to him. So he gets all this super strength and shit, but then it's like mystery and intrigue. Like, wait, Alex Mercer's being framed. So then it's like all this mysterious shit going on, and you got to figure out who you can trust and who's trying to fuck you over. This dude, uh, he has a he has an African American male is the main character, and this dude's like badass. He's like Sam Jackson badass. Okay, just like he he constantly just like bitches and curses the entire game. He shows up and he's like. This party's over. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there's like one part in the game where these two like tanks roll up, and the one dude calls him a bitch, and he's like, "Nobody calls me a bitch." And then like takes a point too. That's like the first time in the game after you pull him out of the tank, like you like horrifically like mutilate that dude, like just because he called you a bitch. And then nice. like you could do it from char to characters like from that point on. Uh, the game basically works as the first one. You had experience and you leveled your guy up just with experience. Yeah. This and, one and collectibles too. Right. right yeah. yeah. This one has it has uh, experience, but it's like when you level up, you have different like skills and different sets. So it's like you can only choose to upgrade like one of like six or seven traits. But then doing like missions, doing collectibles, doing like side stuff, you gain like up upgrade points to all your other shit. Like there's a set called locomotion, which is like all of your speed moves. So, like you can run 10% faster or you can jump 50% higher. So is it kind of like the first one in that you can run around because it's open world. As soon as the game starts, you can run around and get all the collectibles and all that other stuff so that you can be like super badass before you, you even you can start do, the story. You can do a lot of it, yeah. Like you can get all the collectibles on one island. Like there's three islands and I just got to the second one. So you can like besides right in the beginning of the game, and as long as you're not doing in the middle, you're not in the middle of a mission. You can run around and get all the collectibles. Um, there's a few things like if you can't get it, in fact, like the game will even tell you because there's a there's a collectibles menu in the map. The game will tell you like you will unlock this collectible location when you progress in the story. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. Every time you say this guy's name is James or yeah. James Heller, it James makes Heller. me think of James Hetfield, and he sounds like a cool guy. But how much better would it be if the if the main character was the lead singer Metallica? How much better would it be? It would be like eight. It'd be like eighteen percent. Would better. he not eighteen percent? Would yeah. he not need the superpowers then? Would it be good enough? He, so it was just him, or he, no? He would still have the superpowers. It'd be overkill. But though. he would also he would like sing victory songs. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, All right. Should we dive into achievements? Let's do it. Achievables and then this. All right. So we have the floor is lava. I know this one well. Tra yeah, travel a half a mile using only wall run, glide, jump, and air dash. I know about this one too because we've done a video. We about did it. a video about it already, so go watch it. Yeah, you'll learn how to do it. You'll learn how awesome. to do it. It's fun. Um, yeah, it's a fun, actually fun achievement. It's not too difficult, and yeah, we show you a wonderful spot to get it early on. All right, spend at least twenty five consecutive seconds in the air. Helicopters don't count. I I'm, you know what? I'm glad they actually put that in there. Yeah. It's just like, no, yeah, we're just letting you know. No, don't try it, asshole. So um, we thought ahead of you. Reach the highest point in the world. Um, I know where that is in the game. I haven't gotten there yet. I, that's on the third island. And in fact, that's I haven't like looked into it, but I imagine would be the easiest spot to get the last achievement, to glide for 25 seconds. This might be the most... Uh, 
my new pick for the most common achievement in any video game, or at least in open world games. Deflect five missiles at enemies using shield block. I actually have that already. I do that all the time. Back at you. Yeah, I know. I saw you doing that earlier. I was like, whoa. I was in the kitchen. I'm surprised they didn't just name this achievement Jeff Ramsey. Jeff Ramsey gets water from the fridge. Yeah. Right, exactly. Jeff Ramsey fucking taking it easy. That's, That's what right. it is. He's not even breaking a sweat. Complete labor of love. What a bitch. That's the they, name of the I achievement. I, it's not very often you see a swear word in an achievement title. It's not. I'm not sure what the mission is. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I assume uh, Jack selected it because of the profanity in the title. Yeah. I mean, it's a little outrageous, but I suppose it is an M-rated game. I mean, personally, I wouldn't let my child you know, read achievements like that. Absolutely but, not. But I'll allow it. Who mm -hmm. watches The Watchers? That's, consume 10 is, black That's also targets. been an achievement several times. Yes. Like just that, just just that the achievement name, name yeah. I've seen at least two or three times. Yeah, it's true. Uh, consume ten black net targets. That's uh, like you get. That's one of the side missions you eventually get to do, where you run around. It's like when you consume people, you get their identity. You get like their memories and stuff. Uh -huh. So it kind of opens like a web, which is similar to like the web of intrigue, which is in the first one. So it'll like you lead you from one mission to the next. So like when you consume a guy, you can get the mission, then you can do the mission, uh -huh. and then once again you get a mutation. So you get ten of those guys. Achievement. Acquire ten upgrades to through consumes. That is, oh, there's like certain, um, you can still use like guns and stuff in the game, much like the first one. Like if, uh -huh. you, if you kill a rocket launcher dude, you can pick up his rocket launcher and use that shit. So occasionally, just like as you're walking around, specifically like when you're in a lot of the uh, military bases, there'll be little like um, biceps on your um, on your mini map, not not penises. They'll be biceps. <laughs> they're biceps. Yeah, they're biceps. You can if, well, if you want them to be biceps, you remember you gotta draw you them extra veiny. Yeah, you gotta draw. You gotta draw them extra veiny. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. Find all black boxes. That's the uh, achievement, uh, the collectible achievement that I had mentioned and I'm um, doing guides on that currently so I mean like I said it's it's actually the game gives you a pretty good um, way to find them but you know if you're too lazy about it and you really want us to just do it for you check it out that's what we're here for <laughs> finally full acquire all 46 upgrades upgrades through consumes I see I like this because I like games where they have like all the abilities and stuff but I like it when they let you get everything yeah uh, as opposed to like say Skyrim right which I'm dealing with right now right where it's like you kind of have to mold your character, yeah. and then you're kind of set in your ways. I like to be like an ultimate fucking badass at the end of the game, and just like stroll like through the street, and just like absolutely nothing can stop me because I have every ability in the game. I agree with you. I and I, and I, I understand the theory behind it, where like if you have to kind of like pick the path of your character, then the next time you play through the game, you could have a totally different experience. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest, how many of us are going to play a game like Skyrim over? Exactly. Again? I I won't. I'm, yeah. I thousand it, and I'm not going to play it again until the, DL, the DLC comes out. Put I'm probably sure 140 hours into it already. No, dude, over 200. Wow. But exactly, sense. So what are yeah. you gonna we can play it again just to get there's like fifty thousand different characters you can make too. Just let me be a god. That's all yeah. I want. Complete all black net dossiers. Dossiers. Uh that's pretty much just do all the side missions for uh, like I said, if you consume those dudes, you'll keep getting the black net missions. Yeah. And if you just complete all of those, forty gamer score for you, just for eating people. Just for eating people. That's all you gotta do. Murder your maker, complete the game. Haven't done this yet. Uh, I'm assuming it's a reference to Alex Mercer. He made you. What's happening? I don't know. Lies. There's mystery. The I don't intrigue, know who to trust. There's espionage. Double crossing, triple crossing. You know? Fucking crosswalking? <laughs> I don't know. Cross bowing. There's it's... there's all kinds of things in this game, but I I love it. I like the first one. I highly recommend this one. The achievements are a lot easier than the first one, which was really its only thing that might have pissed you off about it. I mean, for me anyway, they were pretty challenging. Yeah, the first one had some tough achievements. But this one is uh, looks like a lot of fun, and expect some more guides for it, and, and I would definitely check it out.